What's going on YouTube? San Pedro Silver here with another dose of the Daily Dime and right above the bankruptcy attorney's ad we've got a article U.S. poverty on track to rise to highest since the 1960s. It says that the uh, the ranks of the American poor are on track to climb to levels unseen in nearly half a century erasing gains from a war on poverty in the 60s amid a weak economy and fraying government safety nets, or net. Census figures show that uh, poverty <clears throat> is going to rise from 15.1% uh, to uh, about 15.7%, but like everything else, these government numbers are uh, surely not accurate uh, because we know more and more people like discouraged uh, here, discouraged workers, uh, you know, unemployment rising, people not finding jobs, inflation affecting everybody and everything. Uh, and it's only going to get worse, right? Um, uh, they said something here about uh, uh, the figures are going to be released in, in late fall, uh, right before the elections. So uh, this, uh, you know, if, if in fact they do release it right before the elections, um, we can pretty much count on, uh, not because of this article, but because of everything, uh, everything going on with regard to unemployment and inflation and, and debt and uh, everything else uh, that's affecting everybody in a negative way financially in America uh, will cause some sort of easing from the Fed. And uh, I don't know what they're going to call it, whether it's QE3 or, or whatever. Uh, they will pump some money uh, into the system. And, uh, you know, it's not the way to do it. We all know that, you know, pumping more money is not going to solve the bigger issue here. Uh, the bigger issue here is to, to actually cut uh, spending, stop pumping money in, start creating jobs start manufacturing, uh, but, you know, with costs being so low to, to manufacture things overseas, uh, for that to, to happen and for a turnaround in our economy, uh, it's going to it's gonna take pretty much a, some sort of a revolutionary type uh, act on the part of Congress and industry in general. Um, but with all the rules and, and fees and taxes and everything to discourage uh, manufacturers from manufacturing in America, uh, the chance of that happening and that being uh, factories opening up and manufacturing uh, items and products uh, here in America until they do something, you know, I, I just don't see, I just don't see a change uh, occurring. So um, it's important just to, you know, if you're not affected uh, in a big way, and you're still able to save, uh, continue to save, guys and girls, continue to save, because the future uh, will get worse before it gets better with regard to economic uh, policy uh, and fiscal policy here in America and the world for that matter. So continue to save. Uh, I do it with precious metals. Uh, save a little bit of cash, not much, but uh, I'm just trying to save. I'm trying to save because I, I, I do see... Uh, like probably everybody who's watching this, you see uh, a bleak uh, future uh, on the rise here. So um, just wanted to make a quick video about that. And uh, in this little comic area here shows, uh, says foreclosed LA properties in despair. And the big giant building is the, the bank, the slumlord living high on the hog. It kind of... Uh, it's a great depiction of what's happening here uh, in America, and it's only going to continue to get worse as long as uh, as long as they're able to get away with it. They will. They'll keep us down and keep taxing us and uh, putting more and more inflation upon us, and uh, we will continue to pay until until there's some sort of a, a breaking point. You know. So anyway, San Pedro Silver signing out. Wanted to uh, wish everybody a great week ahead, and uh, we will see you soon. Rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, press the like button. Thanks, guys. Bye.